Above the spine, supraspinatus. Below the spine, infraspinatus. Teres major, which is bigger than teres minor. minor. Okay. So we flip it onto this side. This is the same teres major, okay. subscapulars. All right. Okay. Yes. So okay. In the back, you have the triceps brachii. This is on the lateral side. That's the lateral side. Yeah. This is longer, long. long head. Inside, you have the medial head oh. here, but you can also see the medial head on this side as well. Are you okay over there, Jeff? Yeah, fine. Okay. <laughs> we turn it to the front of the brachia. Biceps brachia. There's two heads. Medial, Sh no, short. short head, long head. Now, if you turn this uh, model, this is the caracobrachialis. See this muscle down here? This muscle on this side, that's called the brachialis. You can see it on this side, that's why you can see it on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath the arm, because all these things are falling apart on us, that are holding to get it back. So the first muscle <coughs> you're looking for is this one right here. The one that goes to the to the palm. We call that the palmaris longus. On this side, because it's the thumb side, so it has the radius, we call this the flexor carpi radialis. On this side, we call this one the flexor carpi onerus. So what you're looking for is the palmaris. Palmaris. So up here, what allows you to pronate is this muscle right here called the pronator terrace. On the opposite side of the pronator terrace, which is this muscle right here, that's called the supra. Because it allows you to hold a whole Underneath, as you pull this off, there's a muscle right here. This is called the flexor digitorium superficialis. This is on the outside. When you pull this out, there's the flexor digitorium profundus because profundus means deep. So on this side right here, which this muscle keeps on coming off, this big one right here is called the brachial radialis. So the extensors are in the back. Since this is on the thumb side, we call this the extensor uh, carpi radialis. But this one is longer, so we call it the extensor carpi radialis longus. This one is shorter, we call it the extensor carpi radialis brachus. Okay. So in the back here, what you're going to see, notice that this tendon follows all these digits. So we call it the extensor digitorium. This one right here is on the pinky side, so we call it the extensor carpi onerus. This one in the middle, which is only going to the small finger, is called the extensor digiti minimum. Now, the last extensor you see here is only a tendon that you see. Everybody see this tendon? Because mm -hmm. it's going to the index finger, we call it the extensor index It's this extensor index because it's going to the Oh, finger. that's index. I think that's it on you. Yeah. Have fun. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you.